Good to be with you on this Friday, and I trust that God is blessing in your life. I do want to encourage you in these days, as we're at the time of celebrating the resurrection of Christ, we need to realize that the ultimate power in the universe is God, and Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, has won the victory for us. And no matter what we see on this planet, God is in charge. He looks down and, of course, is here as being omnipresent, but he looks down from heaven, and he is in full control. And I want to have that thought uh, carry us through our, our little time here today. Psalm 91, one of the, of the psalms that uh, are a great blessing to many. Verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we are in the place of full communication with God, when we're dwelling in that secret place of that intimate relationship through his word and the empowering of the spirit of God, we understand uh, just like young uh, birds would be under the care of their mother or the, as the Lord talks about, that he would be like the mother hen gathering all of his chicks in to protect them. Here we are under the shadow of the Almighty. Nothing can disturb us because when we are in active fellowship with the Lord, we're very aware of his presence. We understand that we can trust him. And so bad news, even very scary news, we immediately know that God's over all of that and that Satan is not going to ultimately win and that God will do what is best for us. And if we are walking with him, he'll use it for great good in our lives. And it's interesting how the next verse says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and fortress. When you're in that secret place, you know he's your fortress. My God, he's personal to you. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He will protect us. My God, he is my fortress. And here's the imagery that I used he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Aren't those wonderful verses? And just as, uh, as I mentioned about the hen protecting her chicks, he covers us with his feathers. Under his wings we can trust. And uh, his truth is our shield and buckler. So what's the key? You've got to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. It's a place that only can be understood spiritually when we surrender to the Lord, take the time to have an intimate time with him in prayer and in the Word, allowing the truth of God's Word to be illumined by the Spirit and to have the Spirit of God enable us to be able uh, to worship the Lord and intercede and praise Him. When we do that, then the whole panorama of what the Bible teaches us about our God comes together. So let's in, be encouraged here in these days that in, our, in the secret place, we can be under the shadow of the Almighty.